FCA carries out heat testing not only on special vehicles intended for extreme adventure use, but also on the cars we use every day to drive to work and take the children to school. Uppington is a town in South Africa on the border with Botswana and Namibia. Thanks to its abundant sun and fertile soil, this area produces wine sold all over the world. From here, you enter the large transfrontier park called Kagalagadi, which in Bantu means waterless place. As we drive away from Uppington, the landscape changes. The vines give way to the savanna, which at a certain point turns into the real desert. Welcome to the Kalahari, the sixth largest desert in the world. This is the sunniest place on the planet, with about 4,000 hours of sunshine a year and temperatures reaching 50 degrees. A perfect thermal worst case in terms of levels of solar radiation and temperature peaks, creating a massive strain on all the car's systems. The vehicles arrive here from Turin, already fitted with testing devices, driven by FCA drivers on the road that links Pretoria, Durban and Uppington, roughly 5,000 kilometers, featuring all kinds of road surfaces. So when the cars first arrive at Uppington, the technicians already have mountains of data to analyze, supplied by engine control units and diagnostic systems. The test tools are dismantled and all the vehicle systems are examined. Any anomalous or unexpected behavior is subject to intensive specific checks. What tests are carried out in Uppington? The aim of the summer tests, as of the winter ones, is to prepare a vehicle for entering production, able to withstand all thermal stresses, even the most extreme. All the car's features must be able to resist even the hottest conditions, which is why not only are the engine and air conditioning severely tested, but also driver assistance systems, plastics and paints. The cars cover thousands of kilometers in desert conditions, on tracks and dunes continually reshaped by the wind, frequently encountering local fauna. This territory also offers perfect natural settings for off-road tests. On the dunes and salt marshes at the edges of the desert, as well as in extreme temperatures, the vehicles also face surfaces made even more difficult by the chemical composition of the sand. Here, traction and disengagement tests are carried out on sandy and muddy tracks, and checks on engine system cooling capacity, corrosion and dust infiltration. The parameters of engine and gearbox control units are also calibrated specifically for off-road conditions. To climb the Camos Hill a few minutes from Uppington, vehicles face a 6% uphill gradient for 20 kilometers. This makes it possible to analyze engine heat exchange under prolonged traction with or without towing a trailer. The downhill section test safety systems like the hill descent control, which automatically controls the car's speed by combining the action of brakes and engine. 
the centre of the Uppington area constitutes the meeting point of all the testing teams. The R360, a 55km public road from Uppington to the Kalahari Desert, offers high-speed road testing, even at over 200 km per hour. Here, tests on performance and interior temperature comfort are carried out. These tests entail obtaining special authorization, demonstrated by a pass clearly displayed on the vehicle. This pass is the only feature that all the test cars have in common. Apart from that, one sees an incredible assortment of vehicles. SUVs and station wagons, sports cars and city cars with license plates from many countries are disguised to confuse the curious and, above all, our competitors. This area contains an operative complex where personnel and technology interact tirelessly to make our everyday cars safer and more comfortable. The cars we park under the midday sun, the cars we queue up in in summer traffic jams with air conditioning at full blast, the cars in which we travel safely and comfortably even on the hottest roads. <laughs> 